is Miss Malini and this is one of the most exciting interviews that I think I've done to date. I have Meera Raj with it. Hi guys. And I'm so, so honored that you've chosen to do your first web interview. Of course, it has to be Miss Malini. So first of all, I'm totally distracted by your outfit. You look super cute. Tell us. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, it's great. It looks like a really comfortable outfit. I really need to get it. Yeah, the jumpsuit is by Hemant and Nandita. It's just uh, really easy to wear and it's cotton, Mm. summer. So yeah, I love it. And the rings are by Carrot Crush. So first of all, I have to say, moms don't look like this. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) So how do you get the time to also keep yourself so well put together and and manage baby as well? I don't think it requires an effort because, Mm. you know, she keeps me on my toes. And she's pretty into all of it, you know. Yeah. She's always watching when I'm getting ready. She loves looking at the mirror herself. That's so cute. She's totally her dad's daughter. But you know, you're such a young mom, and was it like a intimidating, you know, experience to be like, okay, I'm now gonna have a baby? Like, did you read every possible book about it? No, I didn't. <laughs> I actually didn't read any books because I wanted to just do it the way it's, the way I felt it should happen. But yeah, about being a young mom, I think any age. Uh, is a good age to be a mom as long as you're ready for it and yeah. I thought I was ready for being a mom and I was like mentally uh, ready for this phase in my life and I think that being a young mom is a big advantage for me you have the so, energy to run around yeah I have so much more energy and I think later on also we both ca- can be Bond. friends yeah. and it's a lot more fun yeah. I think I, I'm looking forward to it I think you're gonna be the good cop or bad cop <laughs> it really depends because if I'm not policing my husband yeah. <laughs> about being paranoid yeah. <laughs> and then I get time to parent my own baby yeah. uh, then probably I think I'm the good cop. So he gets very paranoid like he's very... He's super paranoid so but about like funny things yeah. you know it's just he's a germaphobe and it comes to Misha and yeah. everything needs to be clean <laughs> and it's too sharp and remove that off the table and all of that and I'm just like just take it easy but I have to be the bad cop when he's disrupting her sleep schedule or he's giving her like chocolate and yeah. ice cream and all sorts of funny things That's it's a lot of fun yeah i can just imagine at home it must be so interesting but what has been like for you because you know i think that you've actually done this so elegantly and i was watching a couple of your interviews and i'm like damn she's so smart and so clever <laughs> and i think you've just been really chill about having this whole bollywood camera experience thrown in your face but what has it been like for you it was tough yeah. in the beginning because I wasn't very used to it and I think I'm still a little camera shy especially when the paps come mm. which is probably why I don't look so comfortable in front of the camera Oh, you look pretty comfortable <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's taken some time and I think you know shy has helped me out a lot mm. and actually you guys aren't that uh, unfriendly we're, not, we're really not that mean we yeah you're not that some mean some of us are mean but they're but I liked you from the beginning really? yeah I liked you from the beginning I think it's also one of those things that, so honestly it is I, you know I think everyone had a crush on Shahid right All yeah. the, while he was a single guy and they suddenly were like oh my god he's taken but I think it's one of those things where everyone rooted for you because they liked you so much so it was kind That's of like really oh my sweet. god it's so cute I love her because I think if it had ended up being someone else it could have gone badly. You know what I mean? That if they don't like... I think I yeah. think I was just very fortunate and I've got so much love and just so much positive vibes. You've seen you have uh, insane fan clubs like on Instagram and people immediately You know the funny thing is that I was a little phased by it in the beginning. Yeah. By seeing all these, you know, fan clubs and all of these things popping up but now I think it's very reassuring yeah. that People love me for who I am yeah. and I think I've got it because my husband is who he is. Yeah. So I think I, I have to thank him. Every time he posts a selfie, like everyone gets so excited. Like, <laughs> oh my god, we get pretty excited too. But you know what I also think is interesting and really cool is that you don't seem like you've been rehearsed when you go out on interviews. And I feel like you're able to say, you know, what you like and who you are. And sometimes you poke fun at him. And <laughs> so you're, he doesn't give you or nobody gives you any like do's and don'ts. Because I think because I'm not an actor and yeah. I don't need to be one. Yeah. I can just speak my mind and uh, I'm, I like the person that I am yeah. so I can be the way I am in front of everyone and in front of all of you and I think that works. I need to ask you now, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Virgo. Oh, but you don't seem like a Virgo really? at all. Yeah, my husband would kill me. He's like, how do you know what all Virgos are like? Why? But, but Virgos are perfectionists. They are, that exactly. Change. Yeah, yeah, I can totally see that. Yeah. So as a mom, are you quite a perfectionist as well? Uh, I'm pretty strict <laughs> when it comes to her schedule, when it comes to what she needs to eat. I'm not over paranoid, but mm. I think 
I think one of the things I did is I we made a rule to put her to bed early. Okay. So that we get some time to be on our own at night and like we can go out for dinner and you do date night. We do date nights a lot oh, no, because I think the days are so hectic. Yeah. Because Shahid's working and I'm busy with Nisha and you know, I think the night is the only time we can just chill, yeah. go yeah. for a movie. How are you able stuff. to go for a movie without being flat, like completely? It's not that bad. Really? It's really not that bad because I think everyone's coming to watch someone else. <laughs> so we're just sitting there having our popcorn yeah. and watching the movie. See. So what would you say? Because I'm sure there's a lot of young moms who you know take inspiration from you as well. What was the biggest challenge for you, and how did you overcome it? Ah, uh, well, I think honestly, the biggest challenge was actually my pregnancy because you know I had a few complications and it wasn't very easy. Mm. uh and it was quite surprising because i thought that you know i'm 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 having a baby so young and things are going to be easy yeah. but then it wasn't and i think i had my family support and i had child by my side and i think we made it through and that was great but i think the challenges um it was just coming to terms with uh being responsible for somebody else And for another 24/7 baby, too, right? I, I mean, I was really looking forward to spending time with her. I was really looking forward to being a mom. I wasn't, you know, it wasn't like, oh God, and I have to be a mom, and my life is over, and whatever. I really enjoy it, <coughs> and I'm still enjoying it. So I think the challenge was before. Mm-hmm. Now everything is the best. But that's great. So what would your advice be, you know, for a lot of women, you know, who are intimidated and scared that oh my God, my life's going to be taken over by it? How do they prevent that from happening? I think one just needs to have the baby when you're ready for it. Mm. So before you decide to become a parent, if you're mentally ready for it, everything is going to be fun. Mm. Shahid and I have so much fun with Nisha. I remember we used to see all these really funny baby videos on Instagram yeah. and we used to see our babies react to having lemon. <laughs> so when you know she uh, came up to the age of being able to have it, you told totally like, that Shahid listen <laughs> You take out the camera. I'm going to give her the lemon and just let's let's uh, let's video it and let's see what face she makes. Oh my god! That's the so funniest cool. thing is, yeah. she didn't make any face. She loves it. So till today, she has half a lemon with her lunch. She that's loves it. So Nimbo. cute! Oh my god! I love that you did that. By the way, people would just die if you posted oh, that. We video. do all these funny things yeah. with her. We have we, have, we actually have a lot of fun. Yeah. But you're going to keep her away from too much public eye scrutiny, or you're quite comfortable. As long as she has a normal childhood, I just want her to have the right values, and I just hope. that she's grounded i think she's going to see it happen it's just that i think it shouldn't affect her and we're going to try our best to help her realize that the life that she's living and everything that comes with it is because you know her dad has worked really hard for it so he's worked really hard to be a public personality so if i start chewing everyone away That's really not doing justice to the effort that he's put in. That's true. It's a really good attitude about it because a lot of people are like, "Oh my God, no, don't be restrictive." I think it's a balance. Yeah, you have to hit that balance. So, what would you want her to take away? One life lesson that you know you can record for her now that you wish, mm. as a grown-up, she has learned. Have fun. Nice. <laughs> wow, mom um, says so. Have fun, but also I think uh, gratitude is something that I really want her to have, and that's something she can't do without mm. gratitude. And so, what would you say? Like, I'm, and every, I'm sure everyone asks this question: What if she wants to go into the movies? Hmm. First, they're asking you, then they're gonna ask her. So. Uh, it's her choice. Yeah. It's her choice. I think Shahid is gonna do everything he can to uh, forbid her from getting into the movies. He's already doing that. Really? When she was born, he's like. You can't be in the movies, but you know it's her choice. Whatever she wants to do, we're gonna be supporting. This is gonna be really fun when she reaches that age and we have that conversation. This has been amazing. We're gonna I come back. I think I'm gonna play the mediator between between the two, the two of, them. of them. That'll be so fun to watch. Okay, so we're gonna come back and play a little game in a little bit. But I want you to tell everyone a little thing about yourself as a mom that no one knows. I'm actually a very chilled out mom. Sometimes I question whether I'm too chilled out. <laughs> And I ask everyone around me, am I being too lenient? Do I need to be a little more strict and particular? But I think that works for me because I'm not stressed and I have a lot of fun with her. And one thing that you wish people had told you about being a mom now, like in hindsight, that oh man, they didn't tell me this thing. Nothing actually. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I she's think like, I've got very. Like the advice. poster child for young moms, basically. <laughs> like everything is amazing. I think have your babies young. Have your babies young. Yeah. Then you have your whole life to do whatever you want.